Hi everyone, back here for another video. Today's video is about an iPad app that may help students in studying. And this is not just for students, whether you're a teacher, an office worker, or anyone that uses PDF files can benefit from this app. This is the UPDF app for iPadOS or iOS, which aside from viewing PDF files, this is an all-in-one PDF editor. I can take or add notes, edit the text and images, rearrange or add pages, add signatures, get an add-on UPDF AI, and UPDF with all these functions is available for use in different operating systems, and you just need one license and it can work in all of your devices. This video is sponsored by UPDF. I'm using the UPDF app with my 11-inch iPad Pro with the M2 chip, and you can start using it even if you choose the free version, but of course that will have very limited functions and it will add the UPDF watermarks in each page when you save the PDF file. So first thing that I can do with the UPDF app is of course to view PDF files. First is by opening a file that is saved in my device, like here, saved in my iPad files folder. When I open the file, I will see the option here to open it on UPDF. I can also do this directly from the app by clicking on this plus sign at the bottom right corner. I can also view in UPDF any PDF files I receive in my email. When I open the PDF, I can click on the share icon and then choose import to UPDF. Once I have the file uploaded, I can zoom in and out by pinching on the screen. There are other options found here at the drop down on the top left corner. Going into preferences, there are these different viewing options, such as viewing two pages side by side or single view, or adjusting the fitting on the screen, and also changing the theme to dark or paper or other colors. Next feature is annotating the PDF file. I can start annotating by clicking on this pen icon on the top right. Then here is where I can highlight and mark up text, add notes and text, and even shapes or stickers. So first is the pen option to draw whatever I want on the PDF. Very neat feature, especially when using the Apple Pencil. There's also the eraser to easily clean up mistakes. There's also the color wheel. Of course, we need colorful highlighters and markers for our notes. Before moving on, just a few accessories that I think will be useful when I have to work on documents and do handwritten notes. Banks sent this over but did not pay me to show this, and for my own observations, these are good accessories for my iPad. First is the Banks magnetic screen protector that I personally asked from Banks as I think it will be useful when writing with my Apple Pencil because it has the paper-like feel, but when I'm done writing, I can take it out, keep it in this plastic folder, and it's on standby ready to be used next time. I can also use this along with the Banks iPad magnetic case, and I can put this in different positions like in landscape mode or in portrait mode or even in writing mode. This case is the white one, but they also have this in black and it's also available for other iPad models. Going back to UPDF, if I prefer the more cleaner and structured annotation, the markup option is the way to go. H here is for highlighting text and it's clean as it also just makes a straight highlight. And there's also a strike through option. I can also underline text or use these wavy lines with the last option here. Each of these options can have different colors and I can choose the color in this color wheel. And to delete the markup, simply click on it and choose the delete option on the pop-up. Next is annotation by text. There is this normal text annotation that I can add anywhere on the file. There is the text with the background to make it more outstanding or catchy. And the last one is what I like where there is an arrow that can point where your text is related to.
This annotation by text is kind of the same concept as annotation by notes. But notes is like a sticky note for me and the text are hidden until I click to view the note. I can also drag it to the right position and of course I can delete it if I want to. Just click it and choose the delete option. Last is the annotation by shapes like boxes, lines or arrows. I don't think I need to do much explanation. You can use it whatever way you want. Using all these annotations to add highlights and text will really be useful if I'm able to find it when I need it. So I can click on this icon on the top right. And then from here, when I click on this chat bubble, I think that's how it's called, it will show the pages that have the annotations, whether it's a markup or a note, a text, all of it can be found here. Then of course, finding the text itself in the PDF is crucial and it's here in the magnifying glass icon and I can type the keywords and it will find it for me. Now let's go to the fun part and that is UPDF lets me edit the PDF files itself. And to do that, I have to click on this T and image icon here on the top right. By clicking on this, it will let me edit the text on the PDF file. When I click on the paragraphs, I can edit the text and it recognizes the font as well that's used for the other text. So I don't need to find manually the font for, for this text. Though there are still the options here to find and change the fonts if you like to, or even change the size and the color and the alignment. Next is I can also edit the images inside the PDF file. Simply click on the image and then I will have different options to edit it, like copy if I want this image duplicated in another part of the PDF, or I can rotate or crop it, or replace it with another image that is saved in my photos gallery or in my files folder. Or I can even take a picture and then save it on the PDF file. To resize the image, I can simply drag the sides or corners of this highlighted box. Another feature in new PDF is to create PDFs using different options that's here on the homepage. And first is the scan documents option. Second is to create a PDF from scratch. And here you will have different paper styles that you can choose from. Then I can use the same options in editing a PDF that we've just seen earlier when I'm creating a PDF from scratch, like adding text in different fonts and sizes and adding images or stickers. The UPDF app gives me total control of creating my own PDF, and then I can save my PDF in the UPDF folder. Going back to creating a PDF using the scan option, here I can scan this document and I'm using the same UPDF account in my iPhone. And I can save this scan document as PDF in the UPDF cloud. With the UPDF Pro account, I can use 10 gigabytes of cloud space with a maximum of two gigabytes per file. If I get the UPDF AI add-on, I will also get an additional 10 gigabytes of cloud storage. With the same account, I tested this by borrowing my friend's MacBook because I don't have a MacBook. And as the scan file is in the UPDF cloud, I can access it and use the OCR feature. And this feature requires a plugin that is only available in Mac and Windows, so it's not available in the iPad. This OCR feature will convert the scanned PDF to make the text editable. I can fill it in using the text options that we've seen earlier. Plus, from the simple tests I made, it works okay when editing some parts. However, some parts when I edit the block UPDF automatically selects, it messes up the alignment or the spacing. I can also add stamps to indicate the document type, like confidential, completed, etc. And I can also add a signature. Yeah. 
For documents with personal data, another feature that UPDF offers is the secured folder or what they call security space. I can use here face ID or passcode of my iPad to unlock the folder before viewing the documents. Next and last feature I want to talk about is the UPDF AI. In fact, I created the script for this part with the assistance of UPDF AI chat feature. And I say assistance because this is how it should be used. Assist us in doing things, but not completely letting it do all the work. I edited what the AI returned or suggested to me so it can sound more like me. There are two main features of the UPDF AI. One is Ask PDF and the second one is the chat. Chat is kind of or if not almost the same as chat GPT. I can ask questions to find more information about anything or I can ask it to write or check text for me, for example, to correct the grammar or give a different delivery. Ask PDF, on the other hand, one good feature for me here is the summarize option. Once I click on get started, it will process and analyze the PDF and then it will return an abstract, which for my test is a paragraph or two summarizing multiple pages of the PDF. It also includes the summary of each chapter, even if there's really no written chapters in the PDF, it will try to break it down into sections or chapters. And the last one, it also includes some questions, which I guess this is for users to do some kind of review of what has just been read. UPDF AI can be accessed from the homepage by clicking on this plus sign and it will bring up the chat. It will also show the history of your chat unless you clear it with this brush icon on the top right. I can also access UPDF AI from an open PDF and I have to go to editing mode first, then clicking on the area to edit, UPDF AI will show as one of the options to select. From here, I can use a different tools such as prompt, summarize, explain in case I chose a bunch of complicated words, and it can also translate text to different languages. Last way to access UPDF is by clicking on the icon on the top right and clicking on the first icon will show the Ask PDF and chat. So that's a lot of information. If you're interested on the UPDF app, I hope this video helps and you can get the UPDF Editor Pro with an exclusive discount by checking out the link below. So that's it. Thanks for watching. <music>